Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the 4th module of 18 Math Dip 41 and uh, in this video we mainly have 4 topics, Okay, 4 topics if you study it is sufficient for you and I will be telling you what are the uh, formulas you need to apply for each of these Okay, the first two topics are related and the uh, next two topics are slightly different but they have the steps Okay, so all are similar so if I show you the question paper, those uh, same questions are only asked see here if, the, uh, if I show you the model question paper 1 in this uh, the module 4 has 4 questions Okay. I mean uh, the questions are asked from the four topics see this is from the first topic arbitrary constants the second one is arbitrary functions and this is the third topic arbitrary functions arbitrary functions and this is from the third topic right so uh, this is a direct integral topic as well I'll be telling you that also the questions can be asked from that as well okay so these are the questions which are very very important so I'll be telling you how you need to solve them okay so before starting if you uh, like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support helps me make more videos like this so make sure you like the button uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel okay if you have any doubt ping me on Instagram so the first topic is uh, form a formation of PDA by eliminating arbitrary constants okay before that you need to know what is order of PDE what is degree of PDE what is homogeneous and non homogeneous PDE okay order is what see I'll directly go to the uh, example and explain you homogeneous means there should be only uh, one um, variable at one time like for example it, it can be either X or it can be Y Z with uh, Y Z with X it cannot be like X Y both together okay Th that is non homogeneous coming to order and PDE what is order what is uh, degree okay order is what it is the highest order highest order means d square d cube whatever uh, that thing is there the highest number that is the order so in this the highest order is 2 whenever you get the order circle it whenever you get order what you have to do circle it and whatever it is raised to that is known as degree whatever it is raised to that is known as what degree okay so got to know the basic concepts let's move on to the uh, topics so the first topic is by eliminating arbitrary constants remember the uh, uh, formula how it is uh, applied it's very simple so first I'll uh, move directly to the question and explain you what you are supposed to do see formation of PD by eliminating arbitrary constants same as uh, how they are how they are uh, how they have asked in the exam in the previous papers like that only the question is given here see what are the constants first of all constants are like a b c those are the what constants okay and x y and z are the variables okay so whatever is uh, a and b here in my final equation it should not be there in my final equation a and b should not be there okay so what I will do I'll write z is equal to x plus a into y plus b then differentiate partially with respect to x and uh, y if you don't know what is partial differentiation what we'll do is if you are differentiating partially with respect to z uh, with respect to x only x will be the variable and rest all will be constant even y will be considered as constant so uh, I'll show you directly here how do you differentiate partially with respect to x for this one okay so if I differentiate partially with respect to x which are the constants which are the variables you tell me I'm differentiating partially with respect to x that means only x is the variable I'm differentiating partially with respect to x means only x is the variable rest all are constant this is also constant even y is constant even b is constant fine b was already constant is constant itself okay so only this is the variable so if this whole is considered as a constant and if i differentiate this normally what will happen is this will be taken out y plus b into differentiation of this one and this is a constant so obviously differentiating this one will give me um, 1 plus 0 that, that is nothing but 1 1 into y plus b is nothing but y plus b itself so differentiating with respect to x uh, Z what I will get uh, differentiating Z with respect to X uh, partially with respect to X will give me Y plus B that's what uh, we have written here Y plus B that I have taken as P like that the same, uh, same thing do for Y you will get as X plus A that uh, represent as Q okay so what is the equation given to us the equation given to us is X plus A into Y plus B so X plus A is nothing but Q Y plus B is nothing but P so what I will write I will write it as Z is equal to P into Q Z is equal to P into Q or Delta Z by Delta X uh, Delta Z by Delta Y that is a required PD because here you cannot find what is A what is B only the uh, variables are given right so P is equal to delta Z by delta X and Q is equal to delta Z by delta Y that's all the arbitrary uh, constants are eliminated what we had to do eliminate the arbitrary constant eliminate eliminate with sorts remove it arbitrary constant nothing but A B C and all so we have just removed A B C and all by using this formula and the final equation is this one this is your final answer that's all what you have to do okay so here some more examples are there you can uh, practice it for your more um, practice okay but the uh, 
way remains same fine the next question is the arbitrary functions by eliminating arbitrary function if you remember in the starting part of the video i showed you in the module question paper one in both the or questions it was asked eliminate the arbitrary functions it's a very very important question so observe carefully what we are going to do here it is uh, very similar to the previous one z is equal to f of x square minus y square a very simple equation is given to us z is equal to function of x square minus y square differentiate one partially with respect to x and partially with respect to y now if you differentiate any uh, if you are differentiating a function just write f dash and the same function here then differentiate this with respect to x if you are uh, differentiating with respect to x differentiate this with respect to y if you are differentiating this with, with respect to y so two things we will get if you differentiate with respect to x you will get here as 2x so we will multiply it here we will get as minus 2y and we will multiply it so these two equations we got now what we have to do we have to remove the function right so what you can observe here these two functions are present here if you subtract these two this will not be removed if, to, if you multiply these two or add these two it will not be removed but if we divide these two these two will get cancelled if we divide these two this will get what this will get cancelled right so it will be removed it will be 2x minus or uh, 2x divided by minus 2y that is nothing but p by q so that's all p by q is equal to minus 2x uh, sorry 2x by minus 2y cross multiply it and rearrange the equation will get the final pd that's all what you have to do in the uh, arbitrary functions practice more questions for your uh, more betterment fine Moving on, we have the third topic, uh, which is solution uh, PD. Okay, solution of non-homogeneous PD by direct uh, direct integration. This is a very very important question. So observe carefully what we are trying to do. We are directly integrating and finding out the answer. See, del z uh, del square z by del x square is equal to x plus y. Now I, I can write it like this, right? Del z square by del x square can be written as del x into del x, isn't it? And this can be written as x plus y whole multiplied by del x if i integrate it in the both the sides right i can integrate this easily uh, with respect to x so what i will get here x will become x square by 2 plus y will become y x and uh, the constant will be f of y right because uh, y of x i am differentiating with respect to x i am integrating with respect to x not with y so i have to add f of y in the end okay the same thing is written here del z by del x is equal to x square by 2 plus uh, y by x uh, plus y x plus f y again uh, the delta x is present here if i again shift here and integrate delta z will become z and x square by 2 will become x cube by 6 i know i hope so you know integration so y uh, y will become y x square by 2 fy will become x into fy and since i have differentiated y again i have to write d of y whenever you differentiate y you have to write another function new function okay so this is the final answer which is a required solution that's how you solve the direct integration problem and the rest of the questions are also same only the values are differing and <coughs> So the rest of the questions are also same if you want me to discuss i'll discuss this for your sake see here this is the question given to us del square uh, x del square uh, z by uh, del x del y plus 9 x square y square is equal to cos 2x minus y fine and whatever the uh, things which are given to us that we will be considering later first we have to consider this one okay now what we are supposed to do is we have to uh, integrate it now always integrate with respect to x whenever you get chance don't integrate with respect to y initially okay choose one either with y then do y only if x then do x only okay so if you differentiate with this uh, integrate with respect to x there here what will remain del y and del z right so del y and del z will remain so del z by del y that is equal to x will be uh, transferred here and this will also be transferred here and the whole will be integrated now these terms integration you you have to do by yourself okay after you do the integration what you will get is del z by del y and 9 y square x cube by 3 and this is the sign thing coming and y is coming f of y is coming because we are differentiating with respect to x and y is present here th therefore we have to write f of y again do the same thing you will get here uh, g of y so before g of y uh, we, are, we are using this uh, thing which they have given here like uh, del z by del y is equal to 0 when x is 0 so take this as 0 and put x is equal to 0 then you will get this one i hope uh, you will get the uh, equation here and then again you will differentiate and uh, find out g of y uh, sorry g of x you are uh, doing here why we are actually doing uh, g of x is uh, that is because we have the y in the uh, denominator uh, right so if we um, put the denominator here at that time what will happen we are uh, integrating with respect to y see before yeah, there was x here so we uh, integrated with respect to x now only y is left so if we take here we have to obviously integrate with respect to y because it is dy here so if we integrate with respect to y and uh, x 
comes here then we have to take g of x like how we used to take f of y when y comes here x comes so we'll take g of x after you have done this one we'll use the second equation which is when z is 0 and um, given z is 0 when y is 0 so z is 0 y is 0 will substitute and find out what is the value we'll get the value of g of x and finally we'll substitute the value of g of x in the given equation means we just needed the value of g of x here right i hope we got the value of f of uh, y yeah see here f of y we got by substituting the equation the uh, the first case which they had given which is this one dz by dy is equal to zero when x is equal to zero that's why only we in integrated first this one see observe carefully integrated this one by taking here because this condition is given to us so like that you have to observe and do okay so just the practice and effort you have to do unless you do it won't be happened okay you will be not getting good marks unless you practice fine so make sure you practice a lot and coming to the last topic which is solution of homogeneous pd involved derivatives with respect to one indecent variable only okay so uh, the question can be as follows see in the question paper also the same question is only given okay x is odd or when y is zero something x is there sin x is something like that it is given okay so uh, what you are supposed to do here is solve d square z by d uh, y square is equal to z given that z is equal to 0 and dz by dy is equal to sin x and y is equal to 0 first thing what you have to observe is when you are given with this question is is z having one variable or not is z having one variable or not that is the first uh, question you are going to answer whenever you see this if there is x and y then it is not uh, coming under this category okay in this category only those questions we will solve where it is only having one thing see that's the only thing z is the function of y only then pd can be assumed in the form of ode first this test you have to do okay that's the first thing if you don't do this test and simply go on uh, further and there was x also here you'll never get answer you'll lose the marks fine first first thing what you will do first thing you'll see if there is only y or only x or only one variable present in the denominator for z or not okay after that is done what you have to do is you have to do, uh, do the normal thing uh, like how we used to do in the second or the uh, second module i guess second or third module like the auxiliary equation will write d square minus one then we'll find out the d value and we'll write c1 e power y so if you don't know this one uh, watch the video for the module three i guess in that uh, discuss the different cases how you are, uh, how you need to write c1 and c2 and all after you have done that one what we will be doing is we'll replace c1 and c2 in this uh, under this topic what you have to do is after you get the constants don't uh, keep it as constants write it as a function of x right is that uh, write it as what a function of sorry uh, by function y y is equal to f of x right y is equal to f of x and in the denominator y is there so we will substitute it as f of x f of x and g of x here now find out the value of f of x and g of x by using given data then comes the given data before the given data what are the steps you need to do revising uh, once the, the first test you will do if it is only with respect to y then proceed further and find out the auxiliary equation and find out in terms of c1 and c2 after that uh, write it as f of x and uh, g of x okay because we are differentiating with respect to y so we will write f of x and g of x okay if it was x we will write f of y and g of y fine after you have done this one uh, after this equation by using given data we have to find out what f1 uh, f of x and g of x so what is the given data the given data is that z is equal to 0 and this one is equal to uh, sin x when y is equal to 0 so these three uh, things will be substituting one by one like the z is equal to 0 and uh, e power y y is equal to 0 and finding out one equation also the second data which is y is 0 and del z by del y is equal to sin x so we'll substitute uh, that um which is a sin x value so but uh, there is a problem here we have only z is equal to f of x e of y plus g of x e of y but they have given del z by del y what we are supposed to do very simple differentiate uh, del z by del y with respect to y here also differentiate with respect to y so if you differentiate with respect to y what you will get f of x is a constant it will remain constant e of y uh, the differentiation is e of y only g of x will remain constant here e of minus y is minus e of minus y so minus came here after you have done this one uh, what is given to us uh, this is equal to sin x so sin x is equal to this one and y is equal to 0 so you will get f of uh, x uh, minus g of x is equal to sin x and here you got f of x plus g of x is equal to 0 by these two easily you can find out the value of f of uh, x and g of x and that's what we will be substituting back here and that is your final answer fine that's all what you have to do in this uh, last topic and uh, make sure practice more and if you want more videos like this subscribe to my channel support helps me make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one